This is the world's first RF wirelessly charged remote control airplane. More specifically, what that means is this plane's battery has never been plugged in and has never touched a wire. The only thing you have to do to start this plane charging is come over and put it above this wireless charger. So you may say, big deal, my phone does that. Well, your phone uses something called Qi charging and it's used for close contact charging. And as you can see from this slide, RF wireless charging has a few advantages over Qi charging. And one of them is that it can charge over a distance. If you've ever had a thin case or a pop socket on your phone and it wouldn't charge on the Qi charger, this next part is gonna blow you away. I'm gonna take this OLED screen, hold it above the transmitter, kind of similar to Qi charging. It's got a nice uh, red glow on the screen and you say that's pretty normal for, for, for charging. Well, I'm gonna move it all the way up here and as you can see, you do lose a little bit of energy the further you get away from the transmitter, but it's still pretty impressive that I'm lighting this screen way up here. And as a matter of fact, we've had some IoT sensors that we've powered from over 80 feet away. Okay, back to the plane. This is just a regular foam plane that we ordered from Flight Test. It's the FT Freighter, and this thing is amazing. We've crashed it like a thousand times, and it's been so much fun. I highly recommend it. And what we did do it is, we've wired up our, our wireless circuit antenna and board with our PCC 110 uh, RF converter chip, and then we've actually made it so you don't have to mess around with the battery, unplug, plug, find a charger, glued it shut because we don't ever have to get in there for anything. Let's take her out for a flight. Scan Bluetooth. All right, four volts. We gotta just fly it for a little bit more. We're gonna measure how long it takes to charge back up. We've been flying for about five minutes, crashing for about three of it, but uh, it's an awesome plane. And then we're gonna charge it up and I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys how long it takes to kind of get that much fun back into that plane through wireless charging. Well, that was awesome. Is this plane the coolest thing around? Absolutely. Is it the world's first wirelessly charged remote control airplane? Yup. And is it a great way to kind of learn a little bit about RF wireless charging? Absolutely. However, because of the way that the remote control plane uses the battery, it tries to dump all the power at once to keep the propeller spinning real fast and keep it up in the air, it does take a little longer to recharge using wireless power. That said, there are great examples that are perfect use cases for wireless power on a couple of the other past episodes and a few more that you might not have thought about are wireless keyboards, earbuds, smartwatches, headphones, remote controls, and a ton of other products that use a little bit of energy each time that they're used and then they have a long time to sit in between uses or they're perfect for overnight charging when nobody's using it and they can just charge all the way back up to full, and you'll never have to look for batteries for those type of products. How awesome would that be? So I hope you learned the difference between Qi charging and RF wireless charging, and you can go back and watch the previous episodes and start to get a comprehensive understanding of RF wireless power. And also, make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified when the next Power by Powercast comes out. Thanks for watching, and happy flying.